My name is Adrian Camilleri. I'm a lecturer of marketing and I study consumer behaviour. For information design is about the practice of presenting information in a way that the consumers of the information really understand it effectively. The challenges, I guess, from the perspective of a, a marketing uh, individual trying to design effective information is what uh, formats of information or structures of information to present to consumers. And that's really tough to guess um, from the outset. So one thing that I really recommend is running little pilot experiments. So design information in multiple different ways and then present those different formats to different groups of people and to see which one is most effective. Through experimentation we can really learn the truth. There are a lot of apps these days associated with weight loss and monitoring calorie intake and exercise and all of these uh, apps tend to use calorie as the metric that they are focused on and calories really just refers to information uh, regarding energy use and it's not really uh, associated with anything practical so one uh, different information format that I think could be used is converting calorie information into minutes you need to spend on the treadmill. So imagine you see a cake and you're thinking, okay, that's 500 calories. What does that really mean? Well, what if we translate that into, that's going to be 60 minutes on the treadmill. So that would be an example of good information design. Uh, so one of my favourite examples of information design is implemented by a company called hitmonk.com which is an online flight search company and they present flight search results in terms of an agony score and they calculate agony in terms of uh, price, number of stops and duration of the trip and then they organise the search results in terms of ranking agony from least to worst. And so they do basically all of the work for you, um, allowing the, the user to basically skip information integration stage and present the information as they require it up front. Another example of uh, information design is shown on the new American fuel economy label which was released last year and it presents fuel economy information in terms of seven different metrics for example annual fuel cost, there's a greenhouse gas rating, there's miles per gallon, there's gallons per 100 miles all of these pieces of information that are actually the same piece of information just presented in different ways and uh, some research that I've done has shown that different people sort of focus on different parts of this uh, information. There are tons of academics who spend their entire lives dedicated to designing better information design and uh, some of this has been written up in popular press so one of the examples that I would recommend is reading the book called Nudge by Cass Sunstein and Dick Thaler and that has a, a goldmine of information in there. 